in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed the wisdom of God can turn any man who believes it and walks in that reality into a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. And I sincerely believe with all my heart that that is why we are here. I come here because I recognize my need for wisdom. I recognize that it is only in his presence and only when his word is accurately communicated the principles of the word are accurately communicated not the information the information has no power to produce change you see let me tell you something when people do not have faith it is not because they do not believe god there is a level of accuracy with which the word of god was designed to be communicated and if that word is communicated properly, there is a spiritual logic to it that becomes the basis upon which the faith of the people are grounded. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, he says, but in the demonstration of power that your faith will not be grounded upon the wisdom of men, Sophia, wisdom that is a product of education, experience, that is limited, suggestions of men opinions that were based on a very short view but the Bible says forever O Lord thy word is settled it never said it's settled in the earth it's settled in heaven it takes doing what heaven has done to make the word settle in our lives in the name of Jesus so I welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. As always, those following us online and thousands of people, we love you. We honor you. Let your hearts be open. Let your spirits be open. For those coming here for the first time, this is Koinonia. And we're on a series, Thrive Part 2. T-H-R-I-V-E. This is Part 2. The series is an attempt to concretize upon our hearts some of the keys that are required for transgenerational relevance some of the keys that are required for rising above the vicissitudes of life like i said last week um it will be irresponsible to pretend that the economic turmoil the hardship and all of the things that people are going through uh, is not telling on people you cannot imagine the stories that have emerged as a result of people's frustration whenever a people are limited in any way it will only take time they will react and oftentimes they will react based on the informations that they have so they will use violence they would um, do a lot of very stupid things i've heard of people walking naked for money i've heard of people giving their children for all kinds of immoral things for money I've heard of people doing all sorts of things and and the truth about it is that except you are shielded with revelation um, you will really feel the gravity of what is happening institutions are lamenting churches are lamenting social organizations businesses lamenting the government itself is lamenting and that means that we have to source for light and life from another dimension another reality that is beyond the scope of the human experience amen and i started sharing with us last week how that it is possible to rise 
above these things i love the song that the worship team complicated there is victory listen listen there is no experience of anyone regardless of what the peculiar experience is that is worthy enough to disprove the power the integrity the glory and the efficacy of the person and the word of god are we together if i die today of sickness my dying of sickness will raise a lot of questions among those who love me those connected to this vision and several people across the world but it does not change the fact that god is mighty and it is within his power to heal are we together if you really want to receive from god you must desist from isolating your singular experience and using it as a template to judge everything the bible says about god because our experiences are limited the bible says that we see in part first corinthians 13 we see in part therefore we prophesy our communications and that which we do is according to our perspectives this is why i i seek him as a matter of life and death let it not be that i'm holding on to a perspective that after many years of being convicted by it and leading others to be convicted by it i discover that i have lived in error and have communicated the same to people the bible says that we be careful so that what we call light be not darkness after many years of a man's life you can discover that the very foundation upon which your convictions are built upon is wrong inaccurate imbalanced are we together so when we come before his presence our hearts must be opened you don't come to god with an opinion hoping that he agrees with you when you come to him your heart is absolutely open you say lord i am aware of my vulnerability i'm a product of culture i'm a product of genetic programming i'm a product of environmental conditioning and many of the realities that i've held as true though popular though spiritual may not be consistent with your path so i come to you with every open-heartedness trusting that you will build you will tear down you will rearrange and bring order to my life and that's what god is doing in the name of jesus every time you see consistent results in the life of a man in the life of a people in the life of a territory it is because there is something that is done correctly whether or not the practitioners are aware of the dynamics of what they are doing are we together whether or not the individuals can explain in detail what they are doing or not the moment you see consistent results regardless of limitations there are laws there are principles that are being practiced are we together and uh, i'm going to take it from there i shared with us a few things four points in all we took two i would begin to take from um, where we left off last week and then we'll continue number one i told us that the key to rising above the vicissitudes of life rising above the challenges and the things that hold men crippled spiritually economically and so on and so forth the first key is a genuine encounter with jesus christ the first key to becoming relevant is not being educated the first key to becoming relevant is not having business acumen it's not even being a leader are we together it's not it's not any of these things success and any kind of impact a life of notable impact starts from the health and the quality of a man's spiritual life say amen the measure of your impact through god in the kingdom is directly associated with the genuineness of your hunger the sincerity of your love for god while we're away on administration in the course of the week i met a man of god who was at the meeting and he just came to see me and talk to me and um you know god did great things and honored himself in the meeting and the man sat down and he began to weep like a baby and he said sir what is the secret i don't know how many times people have asked this what is the secret and i kept looking at him 
and i said sir i can bet that you might be disappointed if i tell you i wish the secret were just fasting and prayer i wish the secret were just the quality of my word study life i wish the secret were just that i was anointed as important as those things are i told him if you want me to be sincere with you and you have the heart to receive the secret to the dimensions that by the grace of God I've been able to access are we together is tied primarily to my passion for God and my sincere desire to see him glorified my passion for God and my sincere desire to see him glorified you've heard me say it and God knows my heart I love God more than ministry I love God more than money I love God more than anointing I don't use him for these things never have and never will I rather give up ministry a thousand times to remain in his presence and to remain in love with him I even love him more than the quest for his presence this is where I believe many people miss it because primarily our motives are corrupted God for us means many things for other people he's just a solution like a charm like a genie that you use and invoke his name invoke his blood invoke his fire invoke whatever to get results you're not going to really host extraordinary results that way are we together a genuine encounter with jesus that births the fear of god in you that births love for God and love for humanity it's not enough to love God you must love the people he has sent to you and you must love the body I love the body of Christ with all my heart I am part of it I'm proud to be part of it I love the body of Christ I may not agree with every perspective in the body of Christ I may not hold as part of my conviction every opinion and perspective but it's, it's too little a reason to not love the body of Christ I love the body of Christ regardless of man of God regardless of denomination regardless of exploits or setbacks I genuinely love the body of Christ now let me tell you when you get to this spiritual state when you can assume this posture you are ready to host the grace for transgenerational relevance not outside of this condition the Bible says no eye has seen no ear has heard neither has it come into the heart of any man that which God has in store not for them that pray not for them that seek him for them that love him when a man truly falls in love with God and is addicted with his presence his life everything about God becomes an obsession to you his house his life his word everything your whole life is poured as a drink offering then you are ready to rise above any challenge i'm telling you challenges will come upon you you will rise and shake them off as if they do not exist believe me i know what i'm saying are we together so we discussed that and i said how that many believers they may be born again but they've not had a genuine encounter with jesus an encounter that is greater than any circumstance you know when people doubt god and turn and insult god to his face over situations and circumstances lord i pray for for tea you didn't give me tea i prayed for bread you didn't give me bread i prayed for cgpa i prayed for a job you are not faithful and um, you know god if you don't do this i will backslide it's because you've not had an encounter the remedy for that kind of talk is just an encounter it's not counseling the remedy is an encounter there is a way that a man encounters god that you owe him your allegiance regardless of what happens around your life are we together it's very important whether you bless me or not i'm in love with you to a point of addiction whether ministry rises or not it has no it it, it, it does not contribute in any way to influencing my love and my appetite for you please i pray that as you listen to me this will become a reality that this will not just become a talk from a preacher you see when you are pretending certain things in the kingdom it will only take time time does not change anything 
but time is a revealer of motives time will reveal whether you genuinely love God or not the second thing we said that is the key and I'll pick up from here now that's where we left up last week is the power of mental transformation the second key that is required to rise above and beyond the challenges in life listen please to rise above the limitations that plague mankind to rise to a life that is of notable transgenerational relevance a degree of kingdom impact that outlives you if Christ tarries the power of mental transformation listen I said it it never it never tires me to communicate to God's people the extent to which the quality of their paradigm can determine the course of their future in ministry in life in business in marriage in any area at all the quality of your mindset are we together and I told us last week that we are conditioned in two ways basically the first condition is a genetic programming we are programmed genetically by reason of the transfer of traits I'm being very slow and being very detailed because I want us to get this the second which is the most disastrous or most um, notable of the transformations is environmental programming say environmental programming we are programmed environmentally which can be engineered by culture past experiences our levels of exposure the environment that we grew up in chances are that if you never saw a successful person growing up you do not have a reference you see belief is based on a reference are we together you cannot believe vaguely there must be a reference preferably a physical living reference that becomes a standard and the platform upon which your convictions are built this is why the disciples were very powerful Jesus was a reference and that's why every leader that must teach people part of the assignment of every leader is not only to communicate his persuasions but to be a reference of the same it is easy for people to believe when there is a measure when a when a leader is in different ways reference worthy it becomes easy for individuals to connect when a man is teaching about the anointing and there is some degree of the demonstration of the power and the grace of God upon his life it becomes easy for the listeners to be persuaded by that dimension are we together it is very difficult listen it is very difficult to persuade people over a reality that your life cannot be a reference of no matter how little the reference is that it is worthy of conviction the same thing I am teaching now I am going to be teaching it 10 15 years to come but it will be more impactful than it is now because by that time my life will be a higher reference than it is now the same way some of the things I'm sharing now were the things that I shared a number of years passed but their impact um, were not as impactful as it is now of course I have grown in the anointing but also there have been maybe a few evidences here and there that can back up and support that communication communication at, communicating a dimension of spiritual reality or a dimension of any reality that does not have your life as a commendable reference is very frustrating this already is a lesson for someone that if you want to change your world the first key is to change yourself that you become a template enough people are not that hardened people are only obsessed with results it is God that sees the heart men look at the outward appearance they want to see that if you are teaching on divine health there is a measure of that reality at work in you if you are teaching on kingdom wealth and prosperity there is a measure of that reality if you are teaching on leadership or excellence or dimensions of kingdom reality there is a level of persuasion that stems from your own experience are we blessed tonight the power of mental transformation 
The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 9, it says receiving the end of your faith. We discussed that last week. It said even the salvation of your soul, the salvation of your soul, bringing your soul through the renewal of your mind to a point where it can host the realities that are resident within your spirit. I began to discuss with us and we've done this over different series as we've discussed through the years, the power of paradigms. Look at me. Listen, let me tell you something. As great as a man is, he can limit God. Remember our scripture that has become an anthem in this place, Psalm 78 verse 41. They limited the Holy One. They limited the Holy One. They limited the Holy One. They said, can God make a table in the wilderness? They limited the Holy One. It was not their fault. It was their conditioning. After 430 years of servitude with no hope of deliverance, it was understandable that such a people as a corporate entity can doubt God. Something about our culture, as good as it is, something about our cultural experiences have informed us, has created an understanding in our mind. I was talking to a, a dear friend today who came over to see me and uh, we were discussing certain things. He was along the side of um, the line of marriage and all of that. And I was sharing with him, uh, you know, generally speaking, you know, we, we got into different discussions and I was telling him that if I were to, co to counsel an intending couple, I'm not going to waste time asking a lot of useless and vague questions. The first thing I want to examine is their passion for God. And then the next thing, I want to examine the extent of their compatibility in terms of their understanding. What is your viewpoint about God? What is your viewpoint about money? What is your viewpoint about your assignment and purpose? What is your viewpoint about your personal life? What is your viewpoint about external influences in your life and home? This does not just apply to the line of marriage. It applies to everything. There is something culture taught us about God. There is something our well-meaning pastors and preachers told us about God. Their experiences were their sermons. They preached it with confidence. We embraced it with sincerity and we are victims of their limitations. Are we together? There's something that our past experiences have done. I always give an example. If it took someone 10 years to get admission and you teach on favor, it will take an extra anointing for that person to understand that message. Are we together? Because there is no template that represents favor in his life. Most of our families live from hand to mouth. So every time we talk about prosperity, our minds go straight to the people they insulted and the way they insulted them. We have associated prosperity with negativism, with fraud, with, with unseriousness, with fetish, demonic activities especially when young people are prosperous and you know let me tell you something after listening to a very powerful message after listening to a powerful series financial dominion the wealthy place the economic system of the kingdom you will think that your paradigm will change at once no it took a long time for it to be built it will take a repetition repetition of new ideas are the keys to changing our paradigms you have to you have to bring forth those new ideas again and again that's why the bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing the next word hearing there is understanding hearing and understanding what you hear by the word of god hallelujah proverbs tells us for as he thinketh in his heart for as he thinketh in his heart for as he thinketh in his heart he didn't say so he will become he didn't say so he is becoming for as he thinketh in his heart so is he for as he thinketh in his heart it equates my physical reality to my life this is the difference hear me brothers and sisters between a ceo who is living in an office with an ac having secretaries and pas and sitting down and you think he's just writing and then a megad a, 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 a security person who is opening and closing gates in anger and frustration most times a security person is angry how can i be working so hard and i'm receiving ten thousand per month and someone is there just writing and he's receiving five hundred thousand 
and my answer to that frustration is what switch them switch them for only two weeks take the megad don't change anything don't give him any orientation keep him in that office and take the ceo to the gate let me tell you what will happen after two weeks people will stop going to the office the ceo will do something to that gate that will make the customers remain there are we together his hospitality his open-heartedness his calmness his people skills and all of these other factors that are important for success will compel the people to love him and remain there let's go to our man in the office i know what he will be doing drinking all the juice in the fridge as fast as he can because something about his mind tells him you are you are certainly not going to be here for a long time then he looks for what to steal he signs documents anyhow and then he crosses his leg watching tv changing channels enjoying the ac probably texting all the people and say my life has changed the place will be dirty i assure you he will not empty the waste bin he doesn't have that frame of excellence his paradigm of excellence is not that way he will destroy everything he will misplace documents scatter them and wonder why they are arranged accurately at the end of it he will be frustrated he will steal something sizable and run away that will be the end of that man another popular example you wore a shirt for one year it was always clean and iron nobody knew it was one years old and you gave somebody and his mindset rubbed off on the shirt in one month he turned a white shirt to brown have you seen people like that yeah listen our physical environment is but a looking glass you never change your physical reality by arguing and trying to change things it's not even by trying to dress well and no 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 no. it's a culture you've got to change your mind so the bible says in philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 permit this mind to be in you which was also in christ jesus i was not born this way i re-engineered myself using the word of god and following those who through faith and patience have obtained the promise are we together you must be disloyal to any understanding and paradigm that has given demon spirits access points to destroy your life hallelujah paradigms there are people who will use a water system toilet a very clean toilet and finish i mean in a house not even the one in the hostels a clean toilet they enter the bathroom they saw everything clean they use it and leave it there and just go out smiling and they tell you are finished they took their mindsets there their mindsets took them there are we together yeah there is something about excellence as obvious as it should be you must be trained to discern it don't ever assume that because your mindset has changed it is so that's the reason why the higher you rise the more you must have a greater capacity for patience because when your mindset changes you wonder sometimes i look at people and i am amazed the way they think certain things that should be so obvious you are wondering how their mindset can veer off and give them such suggestions the power of paradigms are we together a man can come to you someone can come to a jimmy for instance and sit down and look at him and look at his house and see how god has blessed him and then just look at him and say sir don't be offended anything for the boys and you are wondering you have access to a great man what is there to say sir if you were to be at my age what will you advise me to do or if you will be at my level in life what two things do you think i should focus on now we never ask questions have you seen people who have access to great men one guy came to my hotel room in abuja and he came just because of his friend he wouldn't even come he came there because of some well a senior someone like a mentor to him who is my friend they came to greet me when they said hello we're discussing i served them myself i'm telling you before anybody picked the thing the guy carried the, the something and opened it and was taking it whereas the person his mentor now kept quiet and was listening you see why that guy is his mentor 
Are we together? There is a logic to people's frustration. You can trace it and see why they are where they are. Paradigms. Mindsets. Why should I dress well? Am, do, am I rich? Paradigm. Are we together? There are people praying endlessly to have pot belly. Just like that. Why? Because based on certain cultural experiences. Now listen, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm teaching here. There are cultures, am I right? That train people. The moment they see you with some level of weight, they say, ah, this is, things are working. But you know that absolutely nothing is working. Paradigms. That's what informs people to live fake lives. There are people who, if God blesses with 50,000 now, their mindset tells them, look, you need to do something around you to make people believe you belong. So they run away and blow up everything and they come to people and you see, sometimes, let me tell you something. When I meet people who are greater than me, I have no pressure to prove any point because I know I'm stupid when I'm doing it. But then you see a lot of people with their little understanding, small results here and there, they come and they never learn. They are trying to impress you. Hey, Jimmy, I'm a business person. I just read Robert Kiyosaki's book and you are watching his ignorance. That act alone is a revelation of where you are. Because great people are silent. Let her works speak for her at the gate. And so when we we're done, let me finish up my story. They were about to go. I was greeting them, you know. And then the gentleman just came to me and said, Sir, please, just one favor. I said, what is it? He said, let me snap with you. And I looked at him. I said, this, this boy is not wise. Honestly speaking. That's why we must crave for wisdom. I said, this, this guy is not smart one bit. I said, all right, that's okay. He snapped with me. About three hours later, my friend called me and said, the guy posted a picture on Facebook that me and my very good friend, Apostle Joshua Selma. Now, hold on. I'm not insulting him. He may even be listening now. Listen. Listen. Do you know that gentleman thinks is by snapping with me so that every other person around Look, let me tell you. If a billionaire wears slippers and kaftan and you wear suit and stand close to him, something about you will tell you you are not yet ready for this place. If Benny Hinn stands today and I side, side by side with him and they say colleagues in ministry, even me I know. God knows. The devil knows that we are not colleagues. They will snap me standing when you watch the picture, I will be kneeling down. Because the reality of my heart <laughs> will reflect itself. Amen. Say paradigms. Say mindsets. Say programmings. Something that your parents held was responsible for their limitations. Culture. Experiences. Are we together? I don't want to be ahead of myself because the third thing I'll be talking about is where we'll dwell today in details and um, I trust that God will change our mindsets now let me tell you something there is nothing God can do about your life as powerful as he is if you are not willing to change your mindset Lord I want you I want you to bless me and God says okay can you allow me work on you there's nothing wrong with me God says alright there, there is a mindset that is responsible for poverty there is a mindset that has, keep, has kept many men of God limited in life and ministry. There are certain mindsets that have, have kept corporate organizations small. Sometimes I wish that I knew the things I've learned in the last two, three years. Maybe that I knew them 10, 20 years ago. I would have been 100 times without exaggerating higher than I am now. I pray that you will receive these things and you will believe them. In one minute, lay your hand on your head and say, Lord, there is something in my mind that is responsible for my limitations. Please take it out of me. Go ahead and pray. Take it out of me. Take it out of me. There's something. I grew up in Nigeria and there is a way Nigerians are lovely people. They are great people. But there is a faulty paradigm. 
take it away from my life take it away from my life I declare my disloyalty to every paradigm no matter how long I have held it a paradigm that has stopped me from accessing the anointing a paradigm that has stopped me from being a leader a paradigm that has stopped me from being a visionary person a paradigm that has stopped me from being wealthy hallelujah amen and amen all right so let's take today's own the third key key number three to rising above recession key number three to rising above any kind of limitation is the discovery and the development of your value and your abilities i'm going to dwell here there is a lot to talk about here the discovery and the development of your abilities your value I've done a lot of teachings and I have taught again and again how that a man's relevance, please listen to me, a man's relevance is not based on chance, it's not based on some kind of sentiments, the disparity, the, the stratification between the wealthy, between the great, the anointed, the influential among many other reasons primarily is their value write this down please your value is a representation of your worth your value is a representation of your worth w-o-r-d your value is a representation of your worth based on the solutions you provide the problems you solve and the lives you transform your value is a representation of your worth based on the solutions you provide, the problems you solve, and the lives you transform. This is the index for measuring a man's value. So when we say a person is valuable, a preacher is valuable, a businessman is valuable, a leader is valuable, please listen to me. We're not necessarily just talking about um, anything vague or anything fetish a measure of the perception that people have over you on the strength of the solutions that you provide on the strength of the problems that you solve and on the strength of the lives and destinies that you transform put it in another way if you are not providing any kind of solution if you are not solving any kind of problem and if you are not contributing to the transformation of the lives and destinies of people you are not valuable and hear me please relevance and wealth in the kingdom is built on a reward system we've said it again and again let me just do a recap on it i'll touch a bit into that right you can get the message the wealthy place write this down this is the fundamental law that governs wealth and abundance and governs greatness in the kingdom our rewards in life and that reward can be financial the sense of security the sense of honor that we receive whatever it is our rewards in life will always be in exact proportion to number one the demand or the need for what we do number one the demand or the need for what we do number two our ability to do what we do number three the difficulty in replacing us my relevance in life my relevance as a man of God is not just tied to God the demand for what I do my ability to do what I do and the difficulty in replacing me let me tell you when you understand this you can accurately gauge why you are where you are right now this is why pastors are wealthy listen pastors think they are wealthy i was teaching the school of ministry 
uh, school of ministry students and i said many men of god think they are rich because they are serving god that's not the reason why people are wealthy it's based on a law if i am blessed today among other reasons is based on the perception that you and other people around this nation and in certain parts of the world have about me which is on the strength of what i do my proficiency in doing it are we together a man of god is not rich because he prayed for the sick a man of god is rich because he's providing solutions his solution may be supernatural in origin the solution may be spiritual when you connect people to jesus christ you are providing an eternal solution to the predicament of men and the system of god's economy was designed that every time you dispense value whether given for free or sold a reward must come to you a reward must come to you the laws are inflexible you cannot change them so for as long as there is an anointing upon me to bring people to the place of encounter for as long as there is an anointing upon me to birth transformation of the minds and destinies for as long as there is an anointing to birth revival to bring miracles signs and wonders i remain valuable as far as god is concerned and the benefactors let me tell you why that is powerful much more than business it is an intrinsic value value that is not dependent on any external environment and value that is rewarded only based on the perception of the benefactors so one person can bless me with 100 naira as a representation of his comprehension of my value another person can bless me with 10 million as his comprehension of the perception of my value don't say i am poor don't say i am mediocre what value are you bringing to the table of destiny call this stage the table of greatness there are enough seats for everyone but your past is your value your past is your value not just any value values that are needed and useful values that are needed and useful applicable to the predicament of your generation God is helping someone. Are we together? What have you brought to the table of greatness? That author, you, you know, listen, listen. Do you know why they call people thieves and frown? Because you see rewards, but you do not see the value that is commensurate to that reward. That's why we hate armed robbers. An armed robber brings a gun. And says give me your one million and you tell him what is the value he said i have no value but i have a gun to threaten you so it is bad but that same one million you will give it to someone who offers a value that is worth it listen you don't sit down and wish to rise you grow in value to the level that matches what you desire so frank edward ministers and based on the perception of his value someone can bless him with 10 million whereas there is another musician somewhere in samaru who may be moving around and nobody will bless him what is the difference their value your value is a representation of your worth based on your ability There are two dimensions to value. I want to talk a bit about value. Number one is intrinsic value. Write it down. Intrinsic or inherent value. Value that came with you. It was a gift from God to you. Part of your packaging and part of your wiring. It can be improved upon. Hallelujah. Are we blessed this night? I really want to challenge you. Look at me, please. Please do not trivialize what I'm teaching you. God is not a herbalist. This is the key that lifts men above recession. I was talking to one of our ladies. She works in the bank. And um, I was talking to her this morning. 
and I told her, I said, how is it going in the bank? And she said, Kai, things are, are really bad for many people though. But she said, there are some. I said, that's right. In my mind, I said, that's me. You are now talking about me. He said, there are some, their lives have increased and multiplied. Do you know the concept of recession is not supposed to apply to an individual? Recession only makes sense when you look at it from a corporate and a territorial perspective. There was famine in Samaria minus the king. Minus the king. Number two, minus Elijah. All the people, Elisha never said, please, even Elijah begged for bread. Elisha did not beg for bread in Samaria. He came gallantly and saw people eating their children. The other one said, we ate my child yesterday. We said, let's boil this other child and the woman refused. Are we together? Prophet, we boiled my child yesterday. When I was eating my child, we ate together. Now is the turn to eat her own child and they refused. And the prophet said, no. Let me tell you something. Your value vetoes your education. Your value vetoes your cultural background. Your value vetoes any limitation. I don't care what it is. Will you open up the gates? Open up the doors. Will you open up the gates? Open up the doors. Listen, believe me, brothers and sisters, when I tell you your value vetoes a lot of things. Sunday Adelaja, 96% of his membership in a communist nation, right? Ukraine, a communist nation, 96% of his members are white in a communist nation. eradicating a sense of unworthiness is not criticizing great people this is what a lot of pastors go through this is what a lot of business people go through this is what a lot of individuals go through they think the key is resentment and anger and hatred no the key is to pay the price of discovery and developing your value a student comes in backtrack five years six years a naive young person probably in his teenage comes into an institution i want to study medicine not even having an idea of what he wants to do are we together or the implication and he goes through five six probably seven years of rigorous training they never change his skin they never change his clothes they only change his mind and after six seven years a panel of people will test him and accredit the fact that he is worthy of being called a doctor and they issue a little piece of paper that becomes his authorization value i am surprised when many people say why am i poor what kind of question is that why am i poor why am I suffering the recession? And I, I mean no disrespect as I communicate this. Everyone is left to his lot. If Bill Gates, for instance, let me use finances. If Bill Gates comes here right now and says, everybody, go and hold someone whose life you changed. If you can hold five people, you receive a million dollars. Some of us who roam to everybody, you touch somebody, you say, I will slap you. You've not added any value to my life. Why, why do you want to hold me? I have never been blessed, not by your wisdom, not by your spiritual life, not by your anointing, not by your academics. Nothing about you has changed me. But there are others, there will not be enough room. Everybody says, you changed me. You changed me. You blessed me. You advised me. My business is flourishing because of the idea you gave me. That sickness in my body left because of the anointing upon your life. The power of your secret place changed my life. You preached a message and brought a dimension that changed me. Problem solved. 
solutions provided lives transformed and there is a reward waiting for you i guarantee you no witch and no wizard from any village and anywhere has the power and the capacity to stand an individual that has walked upon his value What is my value? What is my gift? What is that ability that can bail me out? Let me tell you something. And I'm, I'm a Nigerian. I want to say something that is very serious right now. I'm a Nigerian. I love Nigeria. I love everyone in this country. We are brothers and sisters. Are we together? But listen. Do you know why? I want to be sincere with you. Do you know why a lot of people are suffering this recession now? I know many people think he's Buhari. Others think he's Jonathan. Other people think he's PDP, APC. I'm not a politician. Are you together? Let me tell you. Something about the nose diving of the oil revealed that we have never truly been valuable as a people. We only receive natural resources and we have been covering it for years. The same way to happen to your destiny. I mean, a, a department they give everybody food free of charge so i think let me tell you you do not generalize impact and success you must be sure what parts you are contributing otherwise you'll be ashamed with time we are worship team we are all great but in all sincerity what is your unique contribution one day you hold the mic alone and on that day we know that you are the one limiting the worship team on that day we know ah so that mistake in the keyboard comes from you we have been managing it but right now we are a group of intelligent lecturers we are all intelligent people the day you have to do a presentation as a person life must single you out one day to defend yourself i belong to an anointed ministry great and wonderful we are shaking the world. I agree with you. A day will come you will stand before the sick. Apostle, I'm not there. Ejimi, I'm not there. My head of department, prayer, ushri, decoration, they are all not there. On that day, that's when you will know whether the impartations you've been receiving or otherwise. Life will challenge you. Life will test it. And until you are able to prove it the disciples kept enjoying corporate success until one day when jesus climbed up the mount of transfiguration they were happy they brought an epileptic person they said don't worry about jesus we are here just keep him down they struggled they were embarrassed nothing happened let me tell you do you know what causes jealousy the ease and the flawlessness that someone who has paid the price to be valuable does on something you have been frustrated about you've been praying on a sick body and you gave all kinds of reasons no this person cannot be sick then the person comes for a meeting and even without being prayed for before the opening prayer he is healed and then the person testifies exactly as it happened you know how people testify they will say it the way it happened may God make you to, be, to develop an appetite to be valuable an appetite to be valuable let me tell you how you know you are really valuable when no monetary value placed on you becomes a burden to the giver you are exceptionally valuable listen listen i can't remember how much this is how much they bought it but let's assume this is three hundred thousand. just an assumption right assume that this pulpit is three hundred thousand. when they call the price what do you do you look at it the material the quality and he says okay if they look at this and say bring 10 million you look at it and say no that's the same way they rate you so you say twenty thousand, they say you are telling the truth then you say hundred thousand, they say for where is money free like that but there are others they don't even say anything their value says any amount priceless 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 and so someone brings 10 million and says sir Please don't be offended. It's a privilege for me to do this. May you be such a person. May you be such a person. Hallelujah. Benihin is coming to Nigeria. And the plans that have, in fact, to a point that 
the very ministry that is bringing him does not even have absolute control over his coming again the Christian bodies have had to come in because they sat and said no 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 no. we are going to come in now he's not only ministering in Lagos he's also going to worry to go and minister in a crusade again say value when Benin enters a, a nation, no matter who is inviting, uh, inviting him, he is received by the ambassador of the America and a presidential delegation. So his coming is not something you wake up and come by mistake. Even if he's strolling, his personality, we call it human capital. My, my desire is that under God, myself and this great ministry will be so valuable. This place has become like a place of pilgrimage right now. The protocol has had to start making arrangements with hotels around. Why? Because every week, groups are coming, individuals are coming from all over the nation. It's called value. If we remain at this level, we will never rise. But if we keep rising by the Spirit of God and through determination, a time will come, somebody will come from another state, another nation and say it's a privilege, finally. Are you that valuable? Are you that valuable that your absence is an interruption to somebody's life? Are you so valuable? I'm speaking to you from the depth of my heart. Then you will know why certain... The money we are saying has left Nigeria did not disappear. Money is like energy. It can neither be created nor destroyed. It is transferred. So it leaves from the point of no value, passes through the place of small value and lands in the place of capital value. Say amen. Wanting something for nothing is fraud. Wanting something for nothing is wickedness. Now, let me tell you how many of us approach it. Oh God, will you keep looking at me like this? And God says, I've been looking. I set laws and I put preachers. He said, let them come back to, to life. Remember the prayer of, of, of who? The rich man. Let them come back to life. He said, no, they have the prophets and the law. If they will not listen to them, even if somebody comes back to the dead, they will not listen. Just like there are people God has anointed, but many people will not listen. Why should you fail in life? Your background? Who told you it's because of your background? There are people today with no arms, but they are valuable. There are people with no legs, they are valuable. There are people with no eyes, they are valuable. There are people who cannot speak, they are valuable. We don't love Jesus just because he's the son of God. He's really valuable. He's an expression of infinite value by every standard. Are we together? Any man can determine his lot in life. Any man can determine his lot in life. Your reward is in exact proportion. But apostle, I'm a graduate and now I'm working. I'm getting 50,000. But now I'm married to a wife and three children. That's the limit of your value. Because your education was never designed to fund your assignment. It was designed to help you. You are only working at the limit of what you know. And if you do not know more, you will remain that way. Hallelujah. Yesterday, um, one of the protocol, he, he usually helps me. If, if they need to fix anything in my car, he helps me to fix it. And um, I was going to drop him and I decided to just take a stroll with him. I like talking to people. I decided to take a stroll with him and then to turn and come back. And I was talking to him. I said, do you know why you are in this car now? And he looked at me. I said, there are so many people in Zaria. You can drive and you have loyalty and integrity it's called value it ends you the right here when we stop let me confess we went to buy suya praise god <laughs> and so while they were ordering the suya i made an order of the suya and he was sitting i said do you know why you are sitting close to me now he said no sir i said value 
You are the one who went to fix the car. It gave you the privilege to do it. I told him, do you know why we are not in a filling station now? He said, no. He said, because the tank is full. The day it finishes or gets more, we will need the filling station. Are we together? Why have I not come to you? Why have I not called you? You don't call me. Why should I? Why should I? You are proving as if I'm nothing. You made yourself so. There is a way you make yourself. There are people who cannot even pick calls. There are others who are angry. Aaron, I don't like what you are doing. Haba. Is it because God has lifted you now? You left us. That's always what they say. I intend to rise. Whoever intends to rise with me, then we move together. I cannot love you so much to be so loyal and keep myself low. I'm telling you why many of us are offended with so many people. Offended. My friend, we used to eat together. But you were not doing the same thing. Now the person has risen. You call the person and a secretary picks. Hello, sir. So, 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 so organization. Please let me talk to him, Jare. Tell him my name is uh, Ajayi. You don't know me again. And you are shouting and raking and getting angry. May God make you so valuable. Listen to me. Listen to me. May God make you so valuable that your value transcends territories. Because there are values that are only... There are people... That's what we call local champion. One who is valuable within a territory. And so when you step out to another territory, you are as inert as somebody whose potential is not at work. But there are certain people, even celebrity musicians, even if they step out by mistake, everybody is snapping them, they have to run. Now, they may be going to hell. Are we together? But as far as value is concerned, generally speaking, they are communicating value. It's just the content of their music that is demonic. Their vocal training is excellent to a fault. Now you come on stage and you say, I want to rise. What are you called into? I'm called into the music ministry. Really? Yes. What have you done so far? I've been, you know, a gentleman came and met me one time and he came and he said that he's looking for sponsors. I said, what for? That, that he wants to produce an album. I said, who is mentoring you? He said, nobody. I said, who have, can you play any instrument? He said, no. I said, who has ever approved, genuinely approved of your music? He said, no. I said, I'm not going to help you. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm really helping you by not helping you because I'm, I'm helping you realize the mistake fast. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Listen. Can't you see that this is God's bailout system? I came from a background where we were living in a hut with mud. The mud is not in your mind. The mud is not in your mind. Jesus was born in Nazareth. They said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? He broke that limit. Stop giving excuses. Make up your mind from today. There is something my world can celebrate. Years ago, when I was staying in a little room, praying and reading books, all my money went to buying books. Buy the truth and sell it not. God, you have given me grace for music and worship. Who can invite me because of the grace I carry? Don't flatter yourself in mediocrity. Challenge yourself based on a reference that is global. Don't flatter yourself. You make mistakes, you sing off key and someone says, Kai, you know, Elijah, this is fantastic. You say, really? No, you didn't do well. You didn't do well. We were glorified because of the anointing. But vocally speaking, you didn't do well. This lack of preparedness is what makes people to mock themselves. Any competition they hear around, they will come. Have you seen people like that? And they say, why are you here? They say, I'm here to win. And you watch the, your competitors. Just by looking at them, you see the flawlessness of their preparation. And just the preliminary screening, you are back home. 
and then he said no in nigeria this is because this person is yoruba that's why they didn't take me no sir you are not good be honest with yourself is i'm not saying you cannot be good listen value is only valuable when competence is added to it value only becomes valuable when competence is added to it yesterday i was studying on diamonds i just decided to study on diamonds i didn't know that there were different kinds of diamonds different kinds and i was seeing the diamonds and the the recall in finding them and i mean their structure the the precision of their structure is what makes them valuable Are you competent? Are you competent? Seest thou a man diligent in his ministry, diligent in his business? It's only a matter of time. You may be soaking Gary now, but diligence is like a plane, it will lift you beyond the limitations. It can be raining, and you just take a flight, and within one minute, you are already out of that rain. You are not even aware that it's raining again until you land koinonia i'm challenging you i will be a wicked preacher i will be a wicked man of god to not challenge you in the area of value because that's what i'm doing with my life and by the grace of god and in all sincerity that's what has brought me where i am and i told you where i am now is my preparation of yesterday tomorrow will reveal to you what i'm doing today value always precedes manifestation so when you see a man manifest that's not his true state it is his perceived state based on your seeing him now in business in ministry there are many pastors who don't know how this thing works and they may never find out there are many people who don't know how this thing works i'm sorry to say but look at zari as a case study almost every business in zaria almost not all but almost every business in zaria is tainted by mediocrity smallness average there's there's nothing world class there's there's no touch of excellence in it we are limited because of our culture i have my small shop this is nice we never learn someone has paid the price and made the mistake for you then you make it again no you must learn from other people's mistakes are we together i have hardly seen things in this city and i say it with all humility that have impressed me to know that this is at a level of a global repute from our hotels are we together to our restaurant services in fact from the most part they are terrible yet there are many of us seated here if i ask you now what did you say i've been cooking you are the only one who has not eaten the fact that I've not eaten your food means nobody has recommended it. And that means they've been flattering you by saying it's sweet. If food is delicious, we are not stupid people. A Jimmy's wife makes cakes. Everybody knows. She's not necessarily done any great marketing. Let her works speak for her at the gates. What is so exceptional about what you do? What do you do that will make me feel like I am losing a lot if I don't partner with you? Everybody say competence. Say it, competence. Say it again, competence. Listen, if you pay attention to what I'm saying, you will reap an endless, you will reap an endless benefit. Favor then is when preparedness. The day God wants to bless you, he will station your destiny helpers close to you. Men and women who have the perception and the strength to reward your value. And then he says, now you have prepared yourself. There are too many, you know the problem with many of us, look at me. This, 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 this pressure for recognition. I want to know that I'm a CEO. I said it, I think it was to the school of ministry students. People write books 
after 10 20 years of a track record but in nigeria people write books to start up what they are doing so someone who has nothing writes 81 keys to the billionaire lifestyle a book is an authorization for men to listen to you based on a result that is obvious in your life you are documenting your persuasion to create a track for people to follow years ago a few well they are not really my friends but they are ministers too they met me and said apostle at your level there are some bishops who are not like you you should be on tv and radio i said i hear so that i will get to a point where i'm limited and i have to beg for partners isaiah 77 give me isaiah 61 give me 61 naira or 610 naira i don't want to do all those things i don't want to stand on airplane gimmicks i want a situation where the day koinonia comes on air someone will say this is what i've been looking for i have i have one i mean i have a business that is producing 10 million dollars every month i've been looking for a ministry to sponsor this is it solutions provided problem solved lives transformed and you enter your sabbath at once please hear me koinonia and all those following not everybody is a victim of this recession I tell you the sincere truth from the depth of my heart. I say it with all humility and not in any boastful way. I say it with all humility and not in any boastful way. The finance of this ministry has skyrocketed in a way and a dimension that is irrecoverable this year, more than any year put together now please i'm sorry if it looks like i'm boasting i'm only challenging you in the time we call recession say something i do not know say it again something i do not know may be responsible for my limitation one of my pastor friends started bus transport bus services and he called me he said apostle i can't believe this You've been transporting people on bus services and we're not so much in our church. Just at one junction where everybody will wait. After one month, we looked at when they sent the report. I said, nobody, it trek from wherever you are coming. And we've done this without fail. Not for Friday's program. Anytime this ministry is holding any program, once it is night, we're a responsible ministry. At any time, whether it was planned or not, brothers and sisters there is something that is being done this is where i'm taking you to it was not like that our first crusade they were almost locking me because of 150,000 aaron whereas the money that is circulating now was still there i have learned through pain i have learned through mistakes i've learned through mentorship and you are receiving it for free i pray that you will treasure it and i pray that it will lift you higher than ever some of you are about to get married you know you are not ready are we together you already know not by revelation by wisdom that your wife is going to suffer you know that your children are going to suffer how do i know that there is no plan dotam was became mighty because he prepared his way before the lord you are not preparing your way there can't be greatness don't be too quick to show forth prepare everybody say prepare prophesy to yourself say myself prepare myself be competent myself work on yourself hallelujah prepare. don't make noise don't take this colleague mentality moving around I used to know you, Pastor Femi. We are fellow pastors. Colleague mentality is the key to the undoing of many people. Oh, we were classmates. The same class. The same university. The same this. The, we are both doctors. We are both professors. No, no, no. The Bible says one star different from another in glory. 
Say in the name of Jesus. There is a, an ability. Say there is a gift. Within me. That is greater than Zaria. Greater than Nigeria. There is an intrinsic value. Within me. That can bless me. That can bless the kingdom. And I will search it out. Hallelujah. There is an intrinsic value. Now, intrinsic value has to do with value that is inherent. The only thing you do is to develop it is there. I'll give you an example. Intellectual property is an intrinsic value. You don't refrigerate it. You don't warm it. You don't keep it in a safe, in a bank. It's there, it's there. You've trained your mind, intelligence, intellectual property is there. He's playing this keyboard now. This is intrinsic value. Is value within him value that does not depend on the external environment for its performance are we together now yeah a photocopy machine is not an intrinsic value the machine needs a demand the machine needs a lot of things the machine needs light are we together the greatest way to rise is to work first on your intrinsic value you have the grace to sing work on it you are an entrepreneur work on it don't say i'm a ceo ceo that is not producing result is a sign to sit down say i'm a potential ceo there are people moving all around with complimentary cards and flattering themselves i am this and that and that i'm into real estate agro allied products and so on and so forth we have branches in, in, in Ghana, Benin Republic, Port Harcourt, Lagos, and so on and so forth. And you look at the person who is talking. You ask him, sir, what do you know about real estate? He said, look, that's not the most important thing. Me, I'm telling you, my father did it. He gave me, and he has one plot of land somewhere. You see, we, we mock ourselves. Packaging is only meaningful when there is content. Packaging is only meaningful when there is content. Packaging without content is like a balloon. You hold a balloon and claim that the balloon is, is a metal. You will just touch it and it will burst. I sing better than many people who are called into the music ministry. Yet, they want me to buy their album. No. I told you last week, there are many people who claim they can cook. They have restaurants. Are we together? And you start bullying people and say, ah, shouldn't you come and eat in my restaurant i saw you the other day ella you should come to my restaurant to eat are we not fellow koinonia people she wants to be healthy she wants to be healthy and as far as it is concerned you have not worked on yourself one of our school of ministry ladies uh, um, she made one beautiful work just a beautiful artwork the students saw it i mean she's here very fantastic artwork and when i saw it i said my goodness this is excellent i told her improve yourself and monetize your value monetizing your value is the last thing you do when it is flawlessly competent then you place a price on it are we together now i want everybody to write write three things you know god has put in you that must be developed and deployed please write it down young old write it down type it right do whatever it is please write it down don't flatter yourself don't write what you don't have just patiently think and you'll find your own don't just write because your neighbor wrote something value value aaron is here he handles most of the logistics of the you know people around different kinds of logistics why because he's worked on himself and he's still working on himself the other day i went to his house and i saw a blackboard close to his uh, just a little like dining or thereabout and his little office that he has and i saw him writing goals i saw targets i saw plans of action i said this is excellent this person is going to go far please do not think discovery simply means it is worthy of reward that you have discovered a thing does not mean they will reward you 
it must be developed to the highest level of excellence and then communicated with integrity communicated with discipline and communicated with the anointing hallelujah i met a pastor and the pastor told me something he said man of god if you is quite an elderly man he said if you continue going the way you are going you are going to have such an exceptional ministry i said thank you sir i intend to and that's why i seek people like you to add to my life i am not ashamed of my ignorance i'm not ashamed of my limitations and the thing that i do not know there are many things i do not know i know some but there are many others if i knew them i would not be where i am and i humble myself to seek for knowledge i see the way people trivialize knowledge and trivialize the sacrifices of others are we together you call somebody you perceive to be valuable and then you tell the person when can i come and meet you or when can you come and meet me and the person says why they say i have a business proposal i want us to rob minds together sit down with your broke bad attitude and you will never rise never never rise there's so many people who do that why am i challenging you i want you to rise beyond the recession you've heard the testimonies of people this money has not flown anywhere this greatness has not flown anywhere the concept of recession to an individual is a mirage hear me please hear me i understand business i'm not daft i'm not stupid i know what i'm saying the concept of recession is not supposed to be explained from an individual platform it is when you look at the economy territorially societally then you can say based on the gdp of a nation based on certain indices a nation when it does not meet certain things then there is a recession there is inflation or whatever it is but not an individual there has been no time in the bible where famine affected everybody there were there, there has always been exemption those who offer value are the ones who are exempted please hear me what gives you the justification that between today friday and next friday something would have entered your hand or i'm not necessarily just saying money somebody would have acknowledged the fact that god is using you to bless him my life has been transformed what value do you have You see the anointing does two things it activates something within you that was not there and amplifies something within you that is there it activates something within you that was previously not there or introduces a better word introduces something within you that was not there like the healing grace right like revelation the capacity utterance but then it also amplifies something within you that is there like creativity like leadership like your gift so number one your encounter with god that produces a fear of god in you number two a transformed mind transform beyond your cultural limitations number three the discovery and the development of your abilities your value please do not forget this greatness wealth any kind of achievement in the kingdom is based on a reward system it's not just the issue of the will of God the issue of the will of God as far as our greatness is concerned is not a mystery it is clear in the word I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord Jeremiah 29 and the 11th chapter thoughts of good and or peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I commanded this day right that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you 
there is always a part you have to play there is a part that I have to play huh Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law he says shall not depart from out of thy mouth it says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then he says then only then shall thou make thy way prosperous and you shall have good success success that does not steal away the time of your family success that does not steal away your life are we together give me five ten minutes let me talk a little let me take point three a little more write this down please I know that I've taught a lot about finances but let me just talk for five ten minutes on a few things about our financial life number one let me tell you something a job alone will limit you I want to I want to expand your horizon and work on your creativity a bit a job alone will limit you brothers and sisters no matter how much of a job you get no matter how great of a job you get a job does not have the capacity to fund your assignment your needs are plenty family needs the average African family has siblings that are looking up to you for assistance it's capital intensive to live in Nigeria to send children to school almost all of us here by the time you are a Christian and you are born again you have commitments to your church to your group to your ministry and part of it is financial commitment part of it there are several things you have to do that take money from you you are broke let me give us a little financial intelligence we'll always add this you are broke anytime your inflow is far far less than your outflow it, it is it is it, it you will always without fail be on deficit one naira comes into your life you need four naira to go out of your life you will be in trouble you will have to be in trouble you cannot be earning fifty thousand naira probably a hundred thousand and believe that that in itself you remove tight you remove a lot of things it is just not enough that's the challenge with our parents hundred thousand was enough when they had one child now they had they have five children but their finances have not increased so he's spinning them and straining them to death are we together what then is the solution activate other streams of income 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 don't sit down running around and say there's no job and I don't mean don't do small mediocre things that waste your time your energy your money and then at the end nothing comes out from it activate streams of income work on your mindset monetize your intrinsic value that is being developed you will rise above recession I tell you are we together did you know for instance did you know for instance every week we rent chairs in the dozens during the miracle service we rent thousands of chairs in the dozens that's someone's business are we together that's someone's business every week there are things only in this ministry alone that can make an individual a millionaire if he knows how to create a system around that value and supply it just i mean just koinonia alone please activate streams of income take responsibility for your life and don't give people anything substandard you are you are insincere and you are ungodly when you wet the appetite of people over a value you know you cannot offer don't be that insincere make sure that you have worked on yourself and you are competent enough then you can open up your hands for value don't collect a contract to help somebody roof his house and then you roof nonsense no don't do that 
if you know you cannot work on it package yourself work on yourself i work on myself every day i returned back from my trip yesterday as tired as i was i made sure that my daily goals were met please don't you think that it is just the anointing the anointing is there i'm going to talk about it paul said i thank my he says i am what i am by the grace of god he said but this grace was not showered upon me in that i labored more than ye all i prepare an average of two to three sermons every week it takes time it takes research it takes staying in the spirit there are other aspects of my life i'm involved in what are you doing there is no laziness don't sit down and say oh god when will you change my my situation don't sit down and say who will come and marry me out of this problem nobody at least nobody in koinonia and brothers don't wait and say which lady bible says he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord are we together this is the undoing of africa this is the undoing of many people my neighbors um they bought a few months ago they bought a grinding engine and the moment they bought that grinding engine and stationed there at once they became relevant in that environment almost all the houses within that environment no longer enter a car and go to samaru to go and grind beans or whatever they come to them what is their reward the transportation of everybody who should go there now comes to them a place that was previously very quiet and conservative now you see the people early in the morning the engine is up and they are grinding sometimes till late in the night and they are making money from it please i want you to go back and sit down and be sincere with yourself young and old sit down and say i now see why things are not working in my life i now see why i'm feeling the heat of the recession i am not saying you should be a money monger remember we've done financial dominion so you cannot sit down and say now which business do i do uh -uh. that's a wrong question how do i develop myself to rise to a point of value when you are valuable then now you build a system around that value that's what we call business business is simply the art of packaging your value that has been developed to serve a targeted people then you receive financial rewards among other things there's nothing mysterious about business building a business is simply having a value converting it to a product or a service that is needed and useful and then creating a system that informs your potential customers of what you have to give very simple but it's not as simple as it sounds the last point rise to a point of value rise to a point of value the last point what is the fourth key to becoming transgenerationally relevant the fourth key to rising beyond recession we name the series thrive to thrive does not mean to manage the tribe to thrive means to blossom thrive gives a picture of a plant growing out you see how a plant grows out of the soil and you see it moving regardless of of the strength of the soil it shoots through it and it blossoms that's what it means to thrive you don't thrive if there are no obstacles you thrive in spite of obstacles The fourth key is an encounter with the anointing. Ah, anointing. Anointing fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing fall. Sing it one more time, everybody. Anointing fall on me. Anointing. 
power of the Holy Ghost. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Ah. I love what I'm about to share with you, I'm telling you. Because it's something that has changed my life. You, you, see, you see the amazing dimension of God when you understand the anointing. You are amazing, Tim. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. Oh, oh, oh. anointing write this down let me give you a few definitions about the anointing the anointing you are amazing girl. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. Write this down. The anointing is God's seal of authorization to represent Him in your territory. The anointing is God's seal of authorization. It's His authorization upon an individual to represent Him. The authorization for legislature. The authorization to represent God and to represent heaven on earth. The anointing. Number two. The anointing is the capacity to produce change and compel compliance. The capacity to produce change and compel compliance. Psalm 66 verse 3 How terrible art thou in thy ways Through the greatness of thy power Shall thy enemies submit themselves to you To compel compliance Number 3 Now I love this definition The anointing Is an empowerment To manifest the possibilities in God an empowerment to manifest to reveal to make known the possibilities that are resident in God there are possibilities in God it's a slogan that we use here experience possibilities I think the media should do a montage on this experience possibilities it's a slogan we have come to not just recite but believe we've indoctrinated ourselves with the fact that there there are limitless possibilities in God and those limitless possibilities can find expression to the degree to which the unction the grace of God is at work upon the life of an individual the Bible is a compendium an unfolding of the possibilities that are resident in God Revealed from generation to generation. Hallelujah. I got a testimony recently. And um, I'm sure they may be following online. And they, they sent it to me so I can share it in the open. When we went to Yola for the last crusade a few months. I think a month or two ago. We went to Yola. One of the person who was driving me around. is a doctor, PhD. You know, with his wife. He's been married and they've, they've been, I mean, no child this thing has not worked for them and he decided that he was going to drive me around as a seed you know it's been a while they've been married they're probably following now and his wife couldn't take in and you know when they were done we're about to leave I asked him I said what would you want the Lord to do and then prayed for them and he sent me a text I think it was on our way to Bauchi now 
on our Kogi, no, no, Bauchi. He was on our way to Bauchi. I just got a text. He said, Apostle, the text is still on my phone. He said, I called to tell you that my wife went to the hospital and they said, I think she's three or a month pregnant. Say results. Shout it. Listen. Results are evidences that God is alive. Not just an evidence that a man is anointed. It's much more than that. It's much more than that. It's much more than that. During our dinner, we'll be playing some videos. I hope that the media would consider that. I don't know what their plans are, but I hope that they should incorporate that. And one of the things that we're going to be doing is playing clips and showing you a few pictures of some of the external ministrations. And some of you will marvel and wonder. Marvel and wonder at the hand of God and what he can do when a man is anointed. I've said it and I will say it again and again. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. How can the anointing make a difference when it is the difference? It is the very difference when all is said and done. The grace that comes upon the life of a man. I have found David my servant and with my holy oil I have anointed him and the enemy shall not exert upon him and then he reads on and he says and in his in my glory shall his horn be exalted listen let me tell you something I have come to respect the anointing not because of what it has done in my life alone but this ministry you see is a place of possibilities the testimonies the tearful testimonies that have come and it's not just because of joshua selman take the anointing out of my life and i'm as empty as this chair you see are we together someone's life is going to be changed because of the anointing someone's life will rise because of the anointing listen after you've worked on your gift your gift needs to be anointed it's one thing to be gifted but it's your gift anointed it says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord but candle without fire on it cannot give illumination are we together there is an anointing that can come upon you and change the dimension of your entrepreneurial exploits and you will see things happen that you never believed there is an anointing that can come on you and your academic career just skyrockets in a way and a dimension there is an anointing that can come upon your music ministry so much more than the vocal competence and your work you lift a voice and sing a song and that song becomes somebody's healing that song becomes someone's i was watching a video today covenant christian center and i was watching their their um, leadership, their, their summit that they hold, their yearly summit and I was listening to some speakers and while they were talking, I said my God these guys are not just business moguls, they are, they are absolutely anointed absolutely anointed are we together thou anointed my head with oil you did not anoint my cup you anointed my head but that anointed translated to my cup overflowing there is a relationship between what is on your head and what flows from your cup thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over in second kings chapter 4 the wife of the son of the prophet went to Elisha. And Elisha said, what do I need to do to you? What is, what is wrong? What is the problem? And she said, you know, this and that, there is this situation. And then he says, what do you have in your house? And she said, nothing. Thy handmaid had nothing except a little cruise of oil. And he said, that's it. He said, go and borrow vessels, verse 3. Go and borrow vessels from all your neighbors he said borrow not a few borrow not a few if you increase capacity every oil assumes the shape of the container that holds it if i pour this water 
on the cover. Listen, if I pour this water on the cover, the cover will limit the water. This makes this water look as though it is triangular. Pour it in a plate, the plate will become like that. Thank you. Are we together? The anointing. And then when she got it, he now told her, he said, go and close the door. When the prophet was talking, the anointing is a living thing. It was hearing. It was hearing the discussion. And the moment she did that, she began to pour the oil. The oil began to multiply. Listen, it's not enough to be anointed. You must be anointed at a level that can command notable results. It's not enough to be anointed. The anointing is like currency. The anointing is like currency. 100 naira can buy sweet, but 100 naira cannot buy shoe. But it is still money. So don't say I'm anointed. The Bible says Acts chapter 10. Right? When Paul was speaking in the house of Cornelius, the salvation of the Jews. In verse 38 he said, how God anointed. Look at the extent to which God anointed Jesus. So it's not just that Jesus was anointed. Look at the extent. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And then the Bible says on the strength of that anointing, he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. Why? For God was with him. The anointing is not an instrument to shake and fall down and roll. No. Those are just effects of the anointing on the human body. And then alongside with other spiritual dynamics that happen at the point of impartation. But the proof that a man is anointed is not shaking. Results. Results. I don't care whether you shake like a leaf. Results, brothers and sisters. I just want to praise I lift my hands to say I love you You are everything to me And I exalt your Jesus are you the Messiah is it true that the anointing is on you and Jesus said all right watch this the blind eyes open the deaf ears here and he said go back and tell John how do you know a man who is anointed results results don't trivialize results it's not all about the results are you joking what then is it about results lives changed results hallelujah when there are miracles and signs and wonders and lives transform you speak to someone and just one prophetic word turns his life around you've had all kinds of testimonies here someone with jam result 140 something after prayer you come back 260 something how do you explain that it's the anointing a woman barren for eight years returns with triplets no cs how do you explain that results are we together results a whole family almost ravaged with hiv that cause and it's not by sleeping around and just one prayer and everyone is healed not just one person it's called results brothers and sisters let me tell you the truth you may be criticized but you will never be ignored once the anointing of the spirit is upon the life of a man upon the life of a business satan will raise criticisms why so that your word will not be heard so that you will not be believed and so that people will not be blessed but here's what the bible says you can do nothing against the truth 
but for the truth the truth was buried only for three days after three days it came back to life results results notable results not just results he says the spirit of the lord please give us isaiah 61 the messianic prophecy it was a prophecy about jesus christ the spirit of the lord is upon me he says for he has anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor to bind up the broken hearted to set the captives free are we together and then he continues and he says to proclaim liberty to the captives and all of that to proclaim the year of vengeance of our god and all of that to comfort all those who mourn verse 3 and then he says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes that's what the anointing does beauty for ashes the oil of joy for the garment of praise right or oh, I'm, I'm the oil of joy for money the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness then he says that they may be called oaks or trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he through them might be glorified that they may be called oaks of righteousness brothers and sisters when a man comes to a ministry wretched terrible not born again and something happens to him it's called the anointing you get born again you get filled with the holy spirit your life is transformed your mindset is changed you become a leader you become an ambassador of the kingdom then you are now anointed again to reproduce say the anointing there is nothing one of our core values as you know in this ministry is the anointing we believe in the anointing and we believe that anything that is done outside of spiritual empowerment is a waste of time absolutely so you will see the technical department preparing as though they are prayer band because everything is done with respect to the anointing they believe that the sounds are not just instruments of physics they are spirit and life are we together listen please hear me i do not boast to have risen so far compared to where i need to go i am just starting but i can tell you this i have had the privilege of mentorship to clean upon the shoulders of those who represent the systems of god upon the earth and this is what they have done and this is what they do daily the keys are finite the keys are not infinite but every one of them is important for the door to open the keys to your destiny they are not infinite they are not so many but each and every one of them must be there in place it's like a code your passion for god a transformed mind your gifts and your abilities and then the anointing of god upon you no 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 you can't be weak you can't be weak you can't be weak it's my prayer that after this teaching someone will not just hear and say wow this was nice honestly when you see me talk like this i talk from my heart because this is it you know sometimes you can be looking for what you don't even know it is but when someone who has found it says look this is what you are looking for don't go around and waste your time and come back and say ah, ah, i didn't know it was like this hallelujah holy spirit you are welcome fill this temple with your presence make sure you talk to him while praying Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. Sing it one more time. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Hey, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Welcome to our lives and destinies. Fill this temple with your presence. We wait on you, Lord, we wait on you, we wait on you, Lord, we wait on you, I wait on you, I wait on you, Lord, I wait on you. Please pray, please pray. God 
but outside you can come in. Clear the way for them so they can come. I want you to sing the song. It's not a special number. Fill this temple with your power. That's what we need. The anointing upon our lives. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple. We wait on you. Spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Shabarataya. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. This is my prayer, Lord. You are the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. business with your destiny ah. I want you to mean business with your destiny 
Don't worry about the rain. There are people who will direct you strategically. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Father, I declare that my mindset must change. Lift your voice and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Shabarataka sotriketele ba 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 ba. Harato sosegete barata la kora hasa bara bara. Are you praying? Change my mindset. Change my mindset. Change my paradigm. to listen to me the quality of your life on earth is dependent on your level of mental transformation not every information is needed and useful for your destiny the fact that you are getting information does not mean you are growing the fact that you are learning new things does not mean you are rising the information you are getting must be needed and useful it must be needed and useful I like you to pray and say Lord the grace to edit everything that is not useful for my life and destiny lift your voice and pray the right knowledge the right information the right knowledge the right information hallelujah hallelujah it's raining but we're still praying hallelujah Apologize to some of those who are at the aisle outside. Sincerely apologize. Hallelujah. As much as possible, if they can find any place, even if it's just outside, let's see how we can help them. But regardless of what condition you're in now, let me tell you, it is profitable what you are doing. Because it will pay you more than money in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, what have you put in my life? that should bless my world reveal it reveal it to me lift your voice and pray
Lord, my gift, Lord, the abilities that you have put within me in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. There is an ability, 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 there is an ability within my spirit, there is an ability that can change my life, there is an ability that can change my environment. Hallelujah. 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 We are praying. The Bible says there is this treasure. The vessel containing it may be earthen, but the treasure is not earthen. It says there is this treasure in Joshua Selman. There is this treasure in Koinonia that the excellency of power may be of God and not of man. I like you to say every gift you have put in me, Lord, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Lift your voice and pray. Every hidden potential. Every hidden potential. I'm rising beyond recession. I'm rising beyond limitation. There is a gift in me. Embrace Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 60 verse 1 says, Arise, shine, not because you are tired of sitting down. He said, They that sat in darkness, the city of Nephtha and Zebulun, he said, They have seen a great light. Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The Bible says for darkness, confusion shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people. He said, but upon you, his glory shall arise. Verse 3 says, Gentiles, hallelujah, Gentiles shall come. You will not look for them. Gentiles will come to your light. Gentiles will come. You will not publicize. There is an unction. There is a gift. There is an ability. Gentiles shall come to your light, then their kings to the brightness of your rising. He said, Your gates shall be continually open, they will not be closed day or night to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Listen, I want you to lift your voice and cry and say, All those who have been ordained to honor my gift, I call them into my life. Lift your voice and pray. Please be serious. Everyone in every territory called, ordained, anointed. Everyone called to honor your gift. Your capacity, your education, your skill, everyone ordained of God, everyone ordained of God, everyone ordained of God to honor what you carry, call them for by the power of the prophetic, by the power of the prophetic. Ta 
unto God, he can hear. The last two or three months have been phenomenal seasons of my life. Stepping into strange operations of graces and unctions. Testimonies beyond imagination. You can pray it through genuine desire. A heart that is thirsty. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Thou son of David, Anoint me. Affect my life. Breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life. Breathe on me. Affect my life. Breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life. Breathe on me. I'll take my life, breathe on me.
songs of solomon says because of the ointment so do the virgins love thee because of the ointment so realms you have never entered will come to you it's not just talking of women because of the ointment upon my head so do the virgins love thee they desire to be with you we are going to pray I want you to pray this prayer with all your heart you are going to challenge every door of limitation see let me tell you honestly if we are to be truthful with ourselves there are people you are not down but you are not up either you can move up when you are up you know you are there I like you to pray and say I challenge limitations you are a spirit and I speak to you this season you are living lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray i challenge limitation over my life i challenge limitations i challenge limitations Everything fighting my anointing, fighting my influence, fighting the glory of the Lord upon Koinonia. I challenge you in the name of Jesus. We come with the rod of a higher priest. hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray again it's a year of multiplied grace and influence multiplied grace influence means a platform a platform that can afford you an opportunity to shape the minds of people i like you to pray we have been indoctrinated that influence is a bad thing without influence the kingdom cannot advance the key to kingdom advancement is not just evangelism it's influence the key and I if I be lifted up not if I be talked about I will draw all men the capacity to stand at the front line of systems and legislate and be a communicator of the realities of Christ I like you to pray and say Lord every influence destined for me I decree that the grace for it must come on me Lift your voice and pray. Oh, desire it. Your heart is pure. Influence. Access to kings. Access to nobles. Access to kings. Access to nobles. Access to kings. Access to nobles. Access to kings, access to nobles, access to kings, access to men of influence, access to custodians of systems. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! One of the blessings. And the secret that is responsible for the ease in this ministry is unusual access, unusual influence. God has given us access to politicians, access to governmental figures, access to kings, access to financial people, access to mentors, access to voices that can advocate access to the credibility of men access to their willingness to let you leverage upon their success i want you to pray again and say lord the access i need to end struggle bring it to my life bring it to my life lift your voice it's not as hard as we make it influence is powerful influence is powerful Please 
I like you to pray. Lord, I desire influence. The capacity to rise to a platform where your name can be heard, where your glory can be seen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Kashatabata. Go, 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 Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 fire upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be opened. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Fire 
Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That rock must let us go. Madam, in Jesus' name, you're free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. Bring me a mic. I do these things to teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely, oh. You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. He make it is out of her now. Out, 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 out. Come out of her now. She's free. In the name of Jesus. Madam, it will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire. In the name of Jesus, come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. My hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person. Now, 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 now. Stand up, madam. Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. Things are not going right. People speak all kinds of grammar and Satan is advancing. Mama, please come. Jangfa is going to speak to you. I sense, please, Mama. You are free. Take her outside. I see her coughing, whatever. Please take her outside for God's sake so we don't litter this place. Take her outside. I don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took. Take her outside. You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come. Place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata ta kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiaba. All right, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go. 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 Go, 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 you can't stand it, go, go, go.
I prophesy to you today after today your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist Amen. are you listening to me every oppression those outside hear me every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus that challenge will bow don't let her go bring her back come sweetheart look at me just look at me look at my eyes look at my eyes just keep looking look at my eyes look at my eyes I'm seeing your father's face on your face look at my eyes just look for she will go free the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers right now you and the spirit of death upon her get lost get lost get lost get lost Up your heads, O oh ye gates, be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors, and the King of Glory will come in. in Jesus' name, you're free. Come, Mama, bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son, has the We have the Son, so we have the Lay your hands on her stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. What is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Interpreter Selena, where is she? She's walking. Tell her Jesus, okay, okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See, tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama. Jesus will heal you. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can't sleep tonight. I can't breathe. Look at this. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother.
those of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. Then, and the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release fire right now. My father locates those two people right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall, fall, fall. Two of them, two of them. There's one already, two of them. Fall. 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 Sister, tonight is your night of salvation. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shut up. Out of them. 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 Bring them in. He who was the son. See, none of you will go back the same. Are you hearing me? None of you will go back. Who is Grace here? Who is by the name Grace? You're standing here. Your name is Grace. Who is Grace? Come in, sir. He who has the son has eternal life. We have the son. So we have eternal life. Time is up. Thou foul devil. Let this guy go. Go. Fire on you. Fire upon you. That devil of oppression. That devil. Leave him now. Come out of him. 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 Now, fire upon you. Fire. Let him go. Let him go. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of you are not done. Out, out, out until he's completely free. Out. Little girl, be free. I separate you with this spirit. Go. 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 Time up. Time up. This lady is heavily oppressed. Out of her. Oh, devil of darkness. You came for koinonia. You're welcome. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Stand up. Pick him up. Fire on you right now. It's time. It's time. It's time. You must go. Go. Bring him. You must go. This lady has been so tight. Now, listen. I need to explain something to you. Please follow me. It's not the people. Listen. It doesn't mean they are possessed with demons. Are you listening to me? So get that clear. So that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around. There are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are acutely possessed with demons. Some of them, devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know. Pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil. This lady has dreams and she meets with people. 
Go out of her. Go out of her. Just let him, let him lie down. When he's ready to stand up. This guy is so weak. He doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Who prayed? Let me pray for you. Mama, you believe Jesus has authority over cancer? You do? Because he's going to go. Oh yes, it will go. Hmm? Lay your hands there. See, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness. It's not cancer. It's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. As the sun has eternal life. Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man or the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. Yes. They did surgery. And it's not working. You want to walk? Yes. You believe Jesus will set you free? Clear the way for him. He was the son. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Can you walk without with it? Are you feeling pains? Yes. Where? What of this leg? Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I set you free. I command your leg to straighten out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't. Oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This metal. Melt away. Please, ministers, move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Jamfa is already ministering. Some people outside, just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this road.
Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Pastor, sir, yes. Vivian. Who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go. 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 In Jesus' name. Be set free. Leave I alone. Vivian. What's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. Oga John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? I don't drink, sir. Again? You used to drink. Yes, Have you stopped yes, completely? Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Yes, eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things. School didn't work. Many things happened. Even Waiek, you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? Help me. Is that true? That's true? God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants you to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families. The time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out. Now. Now. Shatata rata. Reke tele mo subariata. Brento capriata laka. Rakata baba baba baba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Se tele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered fire 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 be set free right now in the name of jesus you have a glorious destiny no devil will hold you down in the name of jesus lawful captives be free i release you that devil of tamper and anger go go i command you be free the plague of death 
over your family. Go, 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 go. I come in, I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free. Time to be free. Leave her. Let her go. This lady has suffered too long. You've held her destiny down. Go in the name of Jesus. Once again, come. I stopped praying for you for a reason. Please take this guy up. This gentleman. Look at me. See? Cummings. Do you know that your life, listen, listen. I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain. And I didn't know what it was. He was lying down there. That was why I walked there and laid my hands upon. You know the curse that was upon Cain? Bring them out. God is not done with them yet. You know the curse that was upon Cain? He said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. He was the son. Has the time. My dear, come and stand here. Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl. You are the one who celebrated your birthday yesterday. You're welcome. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray. Oh, please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. Ministers, go around, please. Prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa? Jakes, please. Please move around. Where are the people I called out now? My dear. You know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. But the Lord loves you. And tonight, the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free. From every oppression of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Be free. I set you free. Look at me. I'm seeing you pregnant. Drive every useless man out of your life. Are you listening to me? I'm not saying you are pregnant now. I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, not physically. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't please kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. While they are that devil, let me tell you, cast out every devil, prophesy, release people to their prophetic destinies. Let her go. Go! 
climb up, thou devil of darkness. Be free now. Be free now. I command that wicked spirit. Depart from your life. Fire right now all over your body. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. Right now. Leave her, let her go. For she shall not be called Jabez. That's what the Lord says as you say. Because you were born in sorrow, you will not be called Jabez. Tonight, I enlarge your coast in the spirit. My dear, look at me. From today, you will walk into your prophetic destiny. See, you don't know what it is that has happened to you now. Even you, you cannot answer. But look at me. You are a very good girl. Are you listening to me? But you are assuming the character of another person. Tonight, the Lord sets you free. This lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination. But sometimes, you see her doing things that even her does not know. Because I see the spirit of anger and rage. I mean rage almost to kill somebody. But the Lord sets you free. And this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the Lord says restore. This is what I prophesy. Restore. This is what will begin to happen to you. Restore. Hallelujah. If I if I hearing the name if I if I who is if I If I now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them phone. Quickly, we have to round up. Quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir. Come. It's time for the Lord to set you free. Not only in your health. But on every area of your life. You believe that? Mm. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now. I speak to you. I open up that door. I challenge the works of darkness. Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? What's wrong with him? Bring them forward. He has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Silvanus. Sir, does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and serious with God. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back, your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Estefanus. Silvanus. From where? From Haido Road. From where? Haido Road. Eh? Haido. I-A-U. Haido Road. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God, right? So disable all those man of God things. You will start afresh, primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you, right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying and leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man. So you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him. Right now. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out. As deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? My grain, put your hands on your head. Lay it. But he will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you will begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where is the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Foul spirit, let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you. saw the sun rising over your family and then I heard this song I will wait for you Jesus you're the sun in my the days of oppression are over you are standing on behalf of your family Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father for the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, the ministers are ministering, let them continue, but... Those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop.
Stretch your hands. Do miracles, oh God. Solve every problem here, oh God. And for all our Facebook, Twitter, these Egyptians, you see them no more. 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 These Egyptians, you are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered all over this country and around the world we release testimonies miracles in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Lord by your spirit Lord by your hand Lord by your spirit Lord by your great power let there be miracles on this request miracles supernatural miracles terminate sicknesses terminate diseases never to return creative miracles in the name of jesus all supernatural jobs supernatural wisdom let it be done by your spirit miracles by your spirit supernatural miracles by your spirit thank you mighty god in jesus mighty name I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power lift your hands as I pray I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit hallelujah right now doors of delay I command you be opened in the name of Jesus Delay, be gone. Delay, be gone. Delay, delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Free academic bondage. Kateka leko sopa. Repete lato sabadi adaka. In the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage. I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesied.
by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold. Sevenfold. Not one fold. Not two fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of April, I command fearful supernatural joy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now, in nine months' time, you will celebrate miracle children. Be open, every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members. Make sure you are lifting your hands up. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families. I see miscarriage of children. Every plague of death, I command it to pass over you forever. In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above. I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up. A new level of prosperity. A new level of lifting. A new level of wisdom. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. SS. AS. We change your genotype. In the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight. It is time for the new anointing. Guard up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood 
of Jesus Christ captivity ends in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply my brother stand here bring this lady come this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the helper of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my God do it I see angels four five six there it is come on 
Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. Pastoral graces. Leadership. Entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit. Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. An angel stands in this row. Take it, break through. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Right to the back. Take it, take it. Tonight, the Lord gives you a new name. Whatever you came here for, whatever request you brought, I command, go back with a testimony. Go back with a complete testimony. Whatever you came here with, go back with a testimony. In the name of Jesus. And every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing go back with that fire go back and reproduce these things and even greater receive it receive it Thank you, Jesus. Rabata Shalabakuria. Now, listen. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Listen to me, everybody, inside and outside. You're here and you've been struggling with your life. The Lord has been speaking to you. You know that now is the time to make it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. He said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. You've never made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially many of you outside. Tonight is your night. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is saying, How long? Will you run away when I have a better life for you? When I can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace? Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. Please, as you hear my voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. At the count of three, inside and outside, I want you to leave your seat and rush out here. The Lord is calling you. You've not given your heart to the Lord. Leave your seat. They are coming. Appreciate them. Right now, leave your seat. Come right to the front. Clap for them. They are coming. 
Thank you, Jesus. You need to make it right with the Lord. Come out. Or you've been born again once, but you've derailed. Don't stay outside. No matter how far you are, find your way to the front. Forget about your friend. Please run quick. Quick, quick. Do it fast. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you, Lord, for a harvest. Don't sit back. There are still more people outside. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Don't wrestle with him. Sister, brother, the time has come. There are still more people I see outside. Keep coming. We'll wait for you for one minute. Keep coming. No matter what you've done, there is a fresh start. Celebrate them. The devil is a liar. He will not hold you back. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Keep coming. You are welcome. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for making this decision. Hallelujah. I like to pray for you. I like to lead you to Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone. The Lord can give you a new start tonight. Are you listening to me? The Lord can give you a new start tonight. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. Lift your right hand to heaven. And say after me, Lord Jesus. Mean it from your heart. This is not a Bible recitation. Lord Jesus. I come before you. Acknowledging you as my savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. Today, I receive the gift of salvation. Come into my heart. Give me a new start. In the name of Jesus, I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. Make me a new person. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. From today, forward ever, backward never. The things I used to do, I'll do them no more. Because Jesus is Lord of my life. Father, I commend these ones to you. They have come out to make a genuine decision. Because they love you and they acknowledge you. My God, I pray that their salvation be genuine. And I pray that from today, you begin a walk in their lives. I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let peace return to your heart. Holy Spirit, I commend you to these ones. This is the assignment you have given on earth. I pray that you do great things in their life. In the name of Jesus. My brother, you are the one who drove me one time. The Lord will begin to do great things in your life and even in your family for this great decision you have made. In the name of Jesus appreciate them in Jesus name now in one minute I'd like you to follow the elder I said the elders follow the ushers hallelujah and they'll be able to have your details and will follow you up when sir Jakes Monday tomorrow tomorrow what time tomorrow 7 p.m. on the dot please be at chapel pastor Jakes will be following you up we have foundational teachings that will bring to guide you and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. The small ones, please, the very young ones, you're welcome. You can come by 4 p.m., all right, so that you are not roaming around 4 p.m. If you have to explain to your parents, please tell them you got born again. And if you need, if your parents want to talk to any of the ministers to confirm, no problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, follow the ushers. God bless you. Appreciate them. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of attending this glorious meeting called Koinonia. I'd like you to leave your seat and jump out quickly. Quickly. Appreciate them. Come on, Koinonia. There are many people outside. We celebrate you. Come on. Koinonia celebrates you.
give them a big welcome. If there's anybody sitting close to you who is coming for the first time, ask the person to come out. We have a blessing for you. Keep clapping. Wow. Keep clapping. They are coming. Please hurry up. Hurry up. Make way for them. Ushers, direct them. Thank you. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Keep coming. There's still space for you. There's still space. We acknowledge you and we want to tell you thank you for coming. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia. Put together by Eternity Network International. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. You will go back and meet fearful testimonies. I assure you, you will know you met God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We truly celebrate you for making our time and the sacrifice to come here. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday building the word and helping us to understand the Holy Spirit and walk in partnership with him. We want to pray for you and prophesy upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands upon them. Listen, we are anointed. So if we pray for you, believe it, it will happen in your life. Father, we pray that you bless them. Anoint everyone. May the Lord give you a testimony that will confirm that you met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a testimony. Come out of her now. Out. Now. Out of her. Come out of her. Your testimony starts. Come out. Out of her now. now. Devil, come on. Out. Out of her. Come out of her. Out. 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 You have oppressed her for too long. She came for koinonia. Thou devil of darkness. Alright, your time is up. Go. Now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That demon of lust, leave her. Now. Now. In Jesus name. You are free. In Jesus' name. Pick her up. Sister, you have received a visitation from the Lord. For you would have come back with the same problems you carried and brought here. But the Lord has visited you tonight. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And for every one of you, don't you think we are playing when we are praying for you? We truly pray that you will go back with a testimony and an experience. That the things you used to do that are not consistent with the Lord, you will do them no more. Every bad relationship you came here with, we break it. You will go back, you won't find the other people again. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord connect you to destiny help us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every bondage of Satan. We set you free from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I'd like you to quickly follow the ushers. They will have your details. And we will pray for you. And follow you up. We are here every Friday. The Lord bless you. Keep coming and invite others in Jesus name. Celebrate them and appreciate them as they go back. Let's take the following announcements very quickly and we're out of here. Presbio Consults Nigeria presents the Real Entrepreneurs Forum. Hallelujah. How to start and grow your business, how to raise capital, why most entrepreneurs fail, and so on and so forth. This is a business meeting. The facilitators are Mr. Femi Bolaji, the CEO of Intact Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Francis Yusuf, CEO Real Eagles Prince, 
and Mr. Victor Mataya, CEO, Aspire Network. The date is tomorrow, 23rd of February. Saturday time is 9 p.m. The venue is VET Multipurpose Hall. Watch out for the posters and please be there tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. This was put together by one of us. Please honor him and get blessed. Hallelujah. We are proud of this. Hallelujah. I think this is Isaac, right? That's Isaac. Hallelujah. We are proud to dedicate our new envelopes for mission and our school of ministry. Are you happy about that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We've made envelopes for our school of ministry and we've made envelopes for missions. So from today, anytime you're coming for koinonia, hallelujah, as the Lord blesses you and as the Lord grants you grace, come prepared not only to give your offering but we'll drop the envelopes. You may not need to make any special call. You have your seed, whatever, from this night to sow into the school of ministry. These are arms of ENI. Hallelujah. The school of ministry is directed by Bishop Stan and the missions is directed by Jakes. Hallelujah, Pastor Jakes. So I'd like you to be part of what God is doing. Hallelujah. So every time you come from next week, inside and outside, we'll just drop the envelopes. You have your tithe, offering, and then appropriately just put in your seed there and we'll pray on it and speak into your life. I want to assure you that this house is fruitful ground. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are faithful with every money that comes and we use it for the reason why it was given. We dedicate this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in this house. We pray that everyone who will give for our school of ministry to raise and to train our students and to train generals in the spirit, my God, I pray that you will cause them to flourish and enjoy your blessings in the name of Jesus. And we pray for our mission, so oh God. As we visit hospitals, prisons, police centers, mission fields. And we supply welfare to many people. My God, I pray that whoever partners with this project will experience an open heavens. We dedicate this. It will only be used for the glory of the king. No man will be glorified but Jesus alone. We dedicate it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. From after the service, if you feel God is leaving you the, em the envelopes, don't go with them, please. You just come and we'll place them there and then you just drop your seed. House on the Rock Foundation, Zaria presents Tehila Africa. A crazy African praise. The date is 28 February. Time is 10.30 p.m. Venue is Charity and Faith Missions. Ministering will be Steve Strings and many more. Dress code strictly traditional. Hallelujah. This is announcement from our school of ministry. The closing date for the submission of the forms for ENI School of Ministry is next week Friday. Please listen carefully. Next week Friday will be closing for all the prospective students. And now, the director has instructed that um, the fact that you have the form does not mean you, you are automatically a student. Hallelujah. And he said, you hold on with the school fees. We are going to go through um, a screening process and then we'll place the list. Am I right, sir? Bishop? Am I correct? Okay. Um, by the grace of God, the Lord has granted us grace to secure a venue. We'll be using God's time for our school of ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He granted it unto us free of charge. Absolutely free. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Learn to celebrate what God is doing in the house. So please, the first of March, are there still forms? Okay, well, there are still forms. I understand that there are some of you, especially those who are from Kano and Mina. You can meet Bishop afterwards and you get it. And I know there was a pastor that told me he will be around. Please wait and collect it for yourself and your pastor. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something.
for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching this from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 